sorry. <laughs> um, oh, we're doing polynomials today, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome to our lesson about polynomials, okay? Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Um, the lesson is black today. I was trying something new months ago when I made this uh, PowerPoint or whatever keynote. So it's black. I hope that's okay. I don't know. We'll see if we like it. Maybe we'll like it better. Ooh. Um, anyway, <laughs> so we are learning to, I always have to make sure that this thing is recording. Okay, we are learning to classify polynomials, identify polynomials, add, subtract, evaluate polynomials. We're just doing all the things. Okay, <laughs> so first of all, you need to know what a monomial is. A monomial is an expression with a single term and with whole number exponent or exponents, okay? It is a product of a number and a variable. It is a number or it is just a variable. It can be any of those three things. What it is always is an expression with a, of a, an expression with a single term, okay? Because the prefix mono means one. All right, so circle each monomial. So I have some examples. Oh, wow, I did that animation way too quickly. Um, that is not a monomial. Oh, I remember this lesson. <laughs> Sorry. Woo! This has been a while. Four is a monomial. Why? Because it is a number. The purple bullet point. Negative 6x is a monomial because it is the product of a number and a variable. The pink bullet point. Negative 0.5x to the fourth is a monomial. Even though you got a 0 0.5, you got an x, and you got a four, it's like three things, but it, they all touching. So that makes it a monomial. Um, that's, that's still the pink bullet point, okay? X times Y, the product of two variables, still the pink bullet point. Um, but this X plus Y is not a monomial. You wanna know why it's not a monomial? Is because it has a, it's not the product. It's the sum of two um, variables, not the product, okay? So if they ain't touching, if they ain't real close, it's a no-go. Um, and then you have y to the 0 0.5, which looks close, but it's not because the exponent is not a whole number. That first bullet point with whole number exponents. 0 0.5 don't count, okay? Um, what just happened? I don't even know. Okay, let's talk about degrees. Degrees, baby. So the degree of a monomial, the sum of the exponents of the variables. Oh, hello. That's what the degree of a monomial, it's the sum. So that means you're adding the exponents of the variables. So let's say I have negative 0.5 x to the fourth. What is the degree? The degree is four because the exponent, I just got one exponent is a four. And the sum of four and nothing is just, hello, a four. Okay. Um, X times Y. Remember, it is the sum. Come on, come on, somebody. Somebody say sum. The sum of the exponents on each variable. I have two variables. And you're like, oh my gosh, but there's no exponents. Yes, every number, every variable has an exponent. When it's not there, it is a one. So x to the first power times y to the first power. One plus one equals two, okay? Let's do 
four. It is the sum of the exponents on the variables. Are there any variables next to that four? Absolutely not. So zero. No variable, no degree, or we say zero degrees. Um, negative six X, that's gonna be, Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> What's the variable? The variable is the X. What's the exponent on the X? A one. We get a little tricky. Negative six X cubed Y. What's the variables? X, Y. What are the exponents on the X? A three. The exponent on the y is a one. How many all together? Four. Ta-da! That's how you find the degree of a monomial. Okay, let's talk about polynomials. So a polynomial is a monomial or the sum of monomials. These are examples of what that might look like. A polynomial is the is a monomial, so it could be a single term. We just discussed what a monomial is, or it is the sum of monomials, which means a bunch of monomials separated by plus signs or minus signs, okay? So those are all examples of polynomials. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, the degree of a polynomial. So we talked about the degree of a monomial, so a single term, just by itself, right? Now we're gonna talk about the degree of a polynomial. So it is the greatest degree of its terms. So out of all of the monomials that make up this polynomial, which one has the highest degree? Okay, so the biggest exponent is a shortcut kind of. So this one's easy. I have five x cubed, eight x squared plus three x minus 17. Degree three monomial, degree two monomial, degree one monomial, and a degree zero monomial. So this polynomial is made up of four monomials. I'm only gonna choose the biggest one to categorize the entire set, okay? And obviously, the biggest one is that three, so I'm gonna categorize this as a degree three polynomial. You with me? Okay. Um, standard form of a polynomial is the greatest degree first, the constant last, or smallest degree last, okay? So this polynomial that we were just looking at is in standard form because I have a cubed, a squared, a linear, and then a constant. The first, when it is in standard form, I call the coefficient, that five, I call that the leading coefficient. Okay. Um, and then I call it a cubic because the biggest degree categorizes the whole thing. So it's a third degree. So I call that a cubic polynomial of four terms. And we'll get into more categorizing here in a little bit i have a joke for you why do polynomials think they're so smart because they got degrees oh there was supposed to be some gifts there i'm still going i'm still going to add them <laughs> um so how to classify polynomials you can classify polynomials by terms so the number of monomials and then you can classify them by degrees so let's do degrees first. So let's say I have a degree zero, that's a constant. I have a first degree, that's a linear. I have a second degree, that's a quadratic. I have a third degree, that's a cubic. I have a fourth degree, that's a quartic. Fifth degree, quintic, okay? Um, those are our fancy names. After that, if you have six degree, you just say six degree. Nothing fancy, okay? So that's how you categorize a polynomial by degrees by degrees, okay? Um, and then you can 
categorize them by terms. So the number of monomials. So if it has one term, I call it a monomial. If it has two terms, I call it a binomial. Um, and if I have three terms, I call it a trinomial. Uh, if it has four terms, I just say a polynomial four terms. If it has five terms, I say polynomial five terms. And I move on with my life. Um, <laughs> so we're going to fill in the table. So how did I set this up? Okay, good. So let's say I have a degree. Actually, no, I just have a five. Um, and my five, I need to figure out how many terms it is. It's just one term. So I call that a what? A monomial. And what is the degree? Well, there's no exponent. So when there's no, I mean, there's no variable. So that means that it's zero so I call that a constant when it's oh my gosh a squirrel not in my house <laughs> in the window I was on my house <laughs> anyway so let's do oh I'm going out of order my god um, <laughs> so we jumped around so this one has three terms I have the 2x cubed the 2x to the fourth, and then the x. That's a trinomial because it has three terms. And what is the degree? Remember, the degree is the highest exponent. So um, we're going to say it's a degree four, but I'm going to use the fancy term, which is quartic. Um, let's do the bottom one, 4x minus 6x squared. Um plus x to the fourth plus 10x minus 12. How many terms is it? We have the 4x, the negative 6x squared, the x to the fourth, the 10x, and then you have the negative 12. So that's five terms. When it's five terms, I just call it a polynomial, okay? The degree, remember the degree is the highest exponent. They're out of order because they're trying to trick you, right? The highest exponent is four, so I call that a quartic. Let's go to the second one. So I have x plus four. How many terms is that? I have an x and I have a four. So that is a two terms, but the fancy word for two terms is binomial. Um, and then I have uh, the degree. So I only have one variable. The variable is x. What's the imaginary exponent on that x? So one. But what is the proper term when something only has one term? I mean, one exponent. The exponent is one. I call that linear. Um, so just moving down to the 4x squared, how many terms is that? Now, this is where some of my students usually get tripped up. You see the 4 and then you see the x squared and you're like, that's two terms. No, those are touching. Because remember, it is the product of a number and a variable. And that is the product of 4 and x squared. So that's all one term. The one above it is two terms because it's separated by a plus sign. But this one is just one term, so that's a monomial. And the highest degree is a two. I call that a quadratic. All right, let's go through the last one. I have four terms. There's no fancy name. I just call that polynomial. The highest exponent, the degree is five, so I call that quintic. And then I have three terms, so that's a trinomial. The highest degree is a two, so I call that quadratic. 